Hi, I'm Diana. Welcome to the Game Cottage. So, you have a cool post-processing effect idea that you can't wait to get into Unity? So you do some reading and it turns out the custom post-processing effects aren't supported in Universal Render Pipeline yet. So what do you do? Do you go off and give up on game development forever? No, you come here to me. I will show you the dark arts hidden within the Render Pipeline. Join me and together we will rule over Unity for all of eternity. <clears throat> So while technically URP custom post-processing is not implemented yet, what this really means is that there isn't a way to add custom post-processing effects to the built-in post-processing volume, which I learned the hard way. But basically we're making a custom render feature that allows us to insert a custom render pass into the forward renderer. And if you don't know what any of those phrases mean, it's okay. There are resources in the description. For this, you'll need some knowledge of C-sharp scripting, Unity Shader Graph, and HLSL if you're feeling a little spicy. So what you want to do is to first grab the boilerplate code from samdriver.xyz, link in the description. Definitely look over that to get a detailed description, but I'll give a quick overview here. First, the render pass. Initialize. We're approximating a post-process material, so we're passing in the camera's color target. Configure is called each frame before execute to set things up for the pass, and in our case, we're creating a temporary render texture that matches the camera. Execute is called every frame, and here we actually do render pass things. We use blit, which is a built-in function that copies a source texture to a render texture. We blit camera color data to a temporary texture and send that to the main text property of our material. Then blit the temporary texture into the camera color data. Then we tell scriptable render context to execute the commands, and then we tidy it up. Now the feature. In feature settings, we set up the pass with the settings we get from the editor. In create, we create an instance of a render pass. Add render passes adds the render pass at the specified location in the stack and gets information or pass needs to send to the post process material. Now the render feature and pass are done, we can make the material and set it up. It's easy to do this with shader graph because all the code setup is done for you. And I couldn't find HLSL boilerplate code like I could for the old post processing stack. The dangers of being on the cutting edge. Make an unlit material. Get the camera texture that we sent through earlier by making a property with the reference to main text. This part is very important. Do whatever wild stuff you want to it. Find your forward renderer data. Throw on your custom renderer feature. Pro tip, make sure you set when to insert before rendering post-processing or it won't work. And that's it. You've made your custom post-processing render pass. You've hacked the system. I'm so proud of you. Thanks for stopping by.